This is a colour print of the painting or part of the painting of the bottle gourd. And I just wanted to show you something um, that I've <laughs> had the courage to do. So basically I put in a flower detail and then a developing seed over the top of the, of the overall shape of the bottle gourd. But something kept bothering me about it and I thought, okay, maybe I'll add more detail. And so I went in and I put more detail in here and, and darken the edges around the, the petals of the flower to get them to stand out better. And then as I was working on the rest of it, it was still bothering me. So um, then I decided, okay, you've got to go backwards to go forwards. And so having the courage to take out probably two or three days worth of painting, um, so, so I, I took the courage and the jumped in and used the Chuck's magic sponge and removed wetting the sponge and then removed all the paint around the flower and around the detail here and scrubbed out oh, two or three days worth of work to, to take out um, the flower completely. So using the Chuck sponge and then also this uh, Winsor & Newton flat bright artisan brush is really good for scrubbing away gently um, at uh, any, any residual paint, but you have to dry the, um, the area in between and make sure your sponge is clean as well. So again, these are prints of the different stages and I should have done it on the painting to show you, but I thought this was the second best anyway. So you can see that I've been taking out the details and the color and gradually removing all the, the painting. Um, the difference in colour here is just on the print, but you can see I've taken out a lot more of the, of the green. And then you go back and you start to hide. You can see here the watermark of the flower underneath, but you go back and you start to hide the, the flower. And so taking, I'll show you on this one where you can see there's a hard edge. And then to this one where you start to hide the hard edge by bringing the colour of the gourd and the patterns over the edge of the petal and so picking up the overall shape of the gourd and running the colour through but you know keeping in mind the overall shape of the gourd as well and then you need to go in and gradually where you've got more hard detail there you'll have to do a whole series of dry brush work to gradually build up the colour and the picking up the background colour over the white so there's no harsh white left so basically you're swallowing up the flower and hiding it within the skin of the gourd to create the overall shape of the gourd. So long term, it was actually better to have the courage to take the work out that just it just wasn't working and it was disrupting the overall shape of the big gourd in the painting. So now you can see the flower dissection has gone and the overall shape of the gourd looks so much better undisturbed and for the overall painting it looks so much better but I'll show you the overall painting next. Okay so have the power of conviction if something doesn't work it's usually for a reason and sometimes go backwards to come forwards again.